I think um, Good Morning Britain said minus 15 tonight some places. So good luck if you're getting minus 15. You first. Oh, well, good morning and welcome back. This is our first day after our nightmare extension. So we're back on something a bit more, a bit more smooth brain level headed today. One day. We're just simply moving this doorway out here. Yep. That's about it. So just take the door out, get that blocked back up and make a hole. There's an axe for this. Oh. So Dad's been in and marked it already. There's one. There's the other. Excellent. We've been asked to do a 36 inch opening. We're using old fashioned feet and inches. Um, so to take that out, new lintel, and then whip this out and block that up. We've got fiber lights for this. And hopefully um, there'll be a bit of a wall under there because we don't really want to be going on the boards. But we brought the tools just in case. And we're on the... Um, it's funny being on the lintel estate and not doing lintels, isn't it? Yeah, well, technically we are. Mm. But yeah, so that's the plan, nice been, and straightforward. Been to the spa, he's had a bacon butty and a sausage butty, and I've just got me latte. So, I think, once we once I've got all the stuff and got started, Dad's going to go pick the stuff up, the lintel, send cement. And couple then, of blocks. Couple of blocks, and then, hopefully get this blasted out before it goes dark. Let's do it. Right, in hand. No time like the present. Right, showing these old buildings. That, you tell it's old back because it's got brick inside. So it's nasty. You tell it's old because by the bricks inside. We see the lime mortar. I'm not sure, I can't tell, but it could be lime plaster as well. But this stuff, it delaminates so easy and just turns to dust. So, you can hear how hollow that is. So we're gonna try and get it off without damaging the, the plastic coving. But I just thought I'd show you this. Drop on your Very cool. I'm sure it was stuck once when it first went on, but all the heat in the house probably shrinks it. There we go. So I'll just use your jumper to cover the skybox up now. These are concrete bricks, pretty much the same as the outside, except how the colour mixed in with the ordinary concrete. But uh, these, are, these would have been well, they're the same as the face brick, aren't they? It's not like they're all chipped, they're all good bricks. Anyway. Yeah. Right to the back of the brick. Hey, that's nice. This is a little bit more of an opening. Well, we can work to that then. Yeah. Yeah. Just noticed by Alex, we've got the uh, nice straight pit, and these are concrete as well, so they should come out quite easy. I reckon one one stitch drill per brick, we should be all right. 
and there's the old light switch and there's the new light switch so as you come through the door light switches there door opens this one right so we'll get rid of all this plaster and we'll get to stitch drilling oh yes i think that might work if we're yeah. shifting it all this way a bit it's going to work that as well yeah oh good but it's 36 inches for brick in it get in <laughs> Oh yeah, you can use your vacuum with us as well. So I just need to get my boots on and um, get back on time lapse and start making the stitch drill mess. So, catch you in a bit. Just stand there, mate. <laughs> Thanks. They probably heard that nice and loud, that too. So, a few people have asked why sometimes we use an SDS drill inside opposed to a cutter or a grinder. Well, it's a method called stitch drilling. Now, a lot of people may have heard of that, but for those who haven't heard of it, this is just a little tip video on how to do it and why we do it. So, obviously, using a cutter in here, We'll just make dust everywhere and if you have water suppression then it's just sludge everywhere so we're, we're lucky in the sense that all this has been stripped off but even if it hasn't either way you don't want to be making dust everywhere so i'll give you a quick show of what happens with the stitch drilling and they can obviously you'll see how much less dust it produces than than a cutter always have your ppe though doesn't, that doesn't matter if it's dusty or not Right, hopefully you can still hear me. So, we're lucky as well that it's actually worked. It's going to work to a full brick, so we don't have to do as much stitch drilling. But usually, if it's not, it's just the pulls on each one, so. Maybe speed that up a bit. <laughs> so, that's essentially how it works. You just drill a hole or two in your brick and then follow that all the way up. Obviously, if it's cross joint, it's not a big deal, but you follow that stitch drilling all the way up. And as you saw, there was much less dust than there would be if we were using a cutter and much less water if we had to use a uh, water suppression. So, for the most part, it's quicker as well. Sometimes, maybe I could maybe leave that bit out. <laughs> so we'll continue just doing that. And then once all this, that stitch drill is done, we just simply knock out the, the broken halves and full, full bricks that will come out with it. Simple as. So that's a little uh, rundown of what a stitch drilling is and why we do it, especially on inside jobs. Thank you very much. <laughs> One side in. See through the hole there. So, as I say, well, as Alex said, we need to have the other brick because we've got a nice straight joint there, straightish. <laughs> These are going to be slightly back, but the bottom ones are going to be spot on. Now, 
we'll probably get the course out for the concrete lintel with the recipo. We'll just cut the joints, which will be dusty, but that'll be the most dust we'll be making today. We've even knocked out the plaster from in here. I haven't done this side yet, but we even knocked that plaster out. So when that door comes out, there's no plaster dropping out into the hole because the hole isn't like this. The hole's still decorated and still got the floor down. <clears throat> so try and keep all the dust in this side as much as we can. Hoover's down to one bar on the battery, so we're going to have a quick break and charge the battery while we're having a having a drink, get rid of some of this shite and then we'll be back after brew so we'll catch you in a bit And there we go. That is stitched all in John. And as you can see, very minimal dust. I'll just show you on this side too. There you go, that's all the dust. Happy days. So, plan now, obviously, get these bricks out. And I think we're just gonna get the multi-tool and cut into this neatly so that we can get the concrete lintel in, which that is going to pick up in a minute. So, here we go. Progress. So, we'll catch you in a bit on time lapse. Right, before I start, Bosch Expert Masonry Carbide Tipped Blade for the reciprocating saw, saber saw, whatever you want to call it. Um, we could have some berries and get it from Tool Station around £20. And it's, it just loves lime water it just chews through it so it's absolutely fantastic it makes the dust but it, it doesn't it doesn't disperse the dust like a grinder does so the dust pretty much drops straight to the floor but it's on soft mortar it's absolutely you can't beat it fantastic so bosch expert masonry carbide tip let's see the carbide tips thoroughly recommended
Well, we've got all that out for lunch. Happy days. And even more happy days. Look at that. Wall. We have a wall to work off. And plenty of bricks to bring you up with. Yeah, I've put, 12, I've put 12 aside for cleaning. Oh. I think we should keep some of these. Yeah. They'll come up with brick acid. You know, for patching houses around here. Because they're the face bricks. Look how condition they're in. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll keep, we'll keep a maybe 20. But there we go, I'm gonna get that mess sorted out after dinner because I'm very hungry. So, there we go. So it's just patch that up, clean that up. Jobs are good. Tell you what, it's absolutely beautiful out there. It's freezing cold, but it's beautiful. It's, I think um, Good Morning Britain said minus 15 tonight some places. So good luck if you're getting minus 15. So yeah, but, but dust is clearing pretty good. Bloody plaster coming off everywhere because it's the old, it's just all the laminated plaster, which is knackered. So we're just taking off as much as we can because they have a three year old, so we don't want any plaster falling off the walls on them. So we're all set up now. Alex has teamed some bricks up to get the first two course in. There's a damp already in under the joist. So we're going to bring that up over the joist with the brick and then we're going to do block work. We've done all the cutting with the evolution saw, which we always do now because um, it's so much easier just to build it. No cutting inside the house, no mess, no banging. Um, all ready to go. The only cuts left to do are the top ones, which are which will be cut down in depth. I think roughly. Oh, there's the pencil mark. There's the top cutter block. So that's our cut, minus 10 mil for the, get the tuck putting in. That's staying in, no point taking that out and making a mess, making two big holes in the wall. And there's our lintel, and Alex is just getting the rest of this crap moved, trying to keep the dust down as much as possible. Um, uh, that's pretty much everything, yeah, it's all cut out, ready for the lintel to go in. Just a bit of tidying up to do and a half to go back in. And then another course to take out of the, and we're away. Yeah. Another course to come out the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's above floor, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So Alex is on with that, and then Alex is going to have a good tidy up, and I'm going to crack on with this block work. It's nice being able to get both sides of it, but because there's no plaster on this side, we're going to range in this way. So, um, while the radio's turned down, I'll put you on um, do a bit of filming because we do a lot of time lapsing. Mm -hmm. So let's get ready to film and done. That's the six foot level, please, mate.
very boring when you're filming normally because we can't have the radio one. Oh. We're missing the Clive Holland, shall we? I'm going to say Mandalorian tonight, but Tuesday. What day is Mandalorian? Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. It's Wednesday, Saturday. Yeah. It's Wednesday, Wednesday. Pardon? It's Wednesday and a Wednesday. Yeah. I think, uh, I think they'd have probably been sued if they didn't do that. Pardon? I think they'd probably have been sued if they didn't do that. <laughs> Right, that's the two cores in, being filled, over the pipe, over the beams, nice and flat, nice and level. Well, I don't know if it's level, but we're following what's there. Let's up. Yeah, it's running up this way, but we'll fix that. Just put, just put a couple of bricks on that else, so it's flat, so the mortar's not dropping on the actual floor. See a psychiatrist. Hey? Might see a psychiatrist. <laughs> Straightforward range in. 
sekunde. Double butter, so you butter, but butter the opening and butter the block, so you got four lots of water going together. Nice full joints. Not everyone does that, but that's the way I was taught. Tie time. So I've marked all my ties. Well, I've marked every course. So I wasn't sure exactly. I didn't want to drill the ties out. Sometimes you drill them out and they're slightly out. So because I've got it up now and I'm hitting marks bang on, I'll follow the rest of the marks for the, the ties, which I'll drill in every other course. Let's get some grease on it because it's not bouncing. Back in a sec. Quick square WD works, but not for long because it overheats and I think it evaporates and then it just ends up blocking up. So you see how dry that is. It needs be lubricated inside. There we go. Nice and greasy. You'll be able to hear the sat you'll be able to hear the difference straight away. Should be bouncing like a good one now. hammering now, it's just drilling before, that's why it's taking so long. So yeah, it starts doing that bit of grease on the bit. These are our trusty 
tyres, frame tyres from Screw Fit and Tool Station. They go on a 10mm plug. What we do is we squash them in. Like that. And then they sit nice in the you can put them in like that, but they take up a lot of room when you screwing them in, so when they're squashed in, and you can always open them up again I suppose, but that's plenty. So what we do is, put the plugs in. Now the, I think, we think these are better than the um, wall starters because they go in on an angle, so they got the, the drilled and fixed in an angle and then you bend them down so there's no way that ever there's no way they can pull out ever whereas the the starter tires are drilled in horizontally so there's there's a chance they can pull especially if they're going to mortar bed so screw that in it gets pretty tight pretty quick right, it's solid now so up there so it's facing up upwards Bend it about 30 degrees, 45 degrees, like that. Trowel underneath and spin it back. And then slide your trial out. That is perfect. Right on top of the block. So, show that again. Squash it down. Push that plug in. A few turns. Oh, it's tight already. Down. Down. There you have it. Just check them, push it, not work at all. Which we have a bit. That's it, we're away. Proper solid job then. What I'll do now is set you back up on time lapse till we get up to the top, and then I'll probably just do a bit of filming at the top, pointing at the top. back. So, I've just been and done the cuts, so I'll just start put everything away now. I think it's getting about quarter to four. Can't tell you because my phone's charging. So, 
got the cuts, I'm going to put them in, we've cut them 15mm small so we can get a decent bed and a decent bed on top. If you have the bed too tight on the top then you, you, it's hard to get the mortar in. So you've got a nice big 15mm 15 bed, 15 bed you can get it pushed in, plus we can get from the other side and get it pushed in from the other side, which is a lot easier. Tech stuff you're actually attached to a, a six foot level leaning against a spot board. And the last one, a lot easier with fiber lights. Yep, yep, slipping out. Then once it's in, sides of it so we have to make sure the joints are full on the little jobs because we can't get to the back to point it whereas this this one we can so it's not critical that's the tool we've got now 32 years without a pointer
There we go. Doesn't look like much, but that's going to make so much more room in here. And there we go. Another another one finished. Nice, uh, nice, easy day compared to the last few weeks we've had. So that was a nice break, and obviously that's going to give us a lot more, give the customer a lot more space. Uh oh, and obviously got our lintel packed in, got that blocked up nice. So once that's plastered, that'll look lovely. the end of this video if you enjoyed be sure to give us a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more of this or whatever else we have on our channel be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell that way you'll always be notified when we upload it's always a massive help and we really appreciate all the support this has been Brooklyn with Alex Steve, Steve's gonna go Steve and Alex and we'll see you in the next video